an interview with Robert Orban, interviewer Irv Joel, recorded October 7, 2002, during the 109th AES convention, Los Angeles. I had uh, been familiar with the, uh, the idea of look ahead and had also been reading a bit about psychoacoustics, so I decided to do something fairly elaborate and radical for a processor at that time, and that was to actually try to estimate whether the clipping distortion produced by the final clipper was psychoacoustically masked by the unclipped material. And so, to do this properly, you'd have to divide the entire bandwidth into third octaves. Uh, turned out this wasn't practical for several reasons, uh, the main one being that it was an analog processor and uh, it just would have been too much circuitry. In the state of D DSP we could do it pretty easily. But another problem was that the lower frequencies it would really slow down the loop to the point where it would be very hard to stabilize it. So it ended up using four third octave bands in the mid-range and then Below that, uh, we used distortion cancellation, which was another important invention. And basically the idea there was that you uh, take the distortion produced by the clipper, which is the difference between its input and output, uh, low-pass filter, and then add that out of phase with the clipped audio, and you end up uh, canceling all of the clipper distortion within the pass band of the low pass filter. And actually the impetus for this came when I was developing the 9000. I was playing Jefferson Airplane's White Rabbit and every time Grace Slick would hit a, a sibilant, you know, one fill makes you larger, one fill makes you small, the S's would completely break up. You know, it sound like small. Uh, so I actually you know, designed this whole thing, which is fairly complicated. It involved a bucket brigade delay line uh, in order to compensate for the low pass filter delays. And then there was also another section to actually allow this uh, whole third octave thing to look ahead so that. Uh, it would have an adequately fa fast attack time. So I put all this thing in and it was like, voila, the sibilance distortion was gone. Uh, you know, one of the most dramatic results I've ever had from an idea in my entire career. They just nailed it on the first pass. Usually it's much more difficult than that. <laughs> 